Question 18, what are the traces of a surface? How do you find them? And uh, yeah, this one's gonna be just uh, reading out stuff. So uh, solution, traces are the curves of intersection of a surface with planes parallel to the coordinate planes. And uh, yeah, and we can find traces by setting the x, y, or z coordinate uh, to be uh, to a constant k. For example, an ellipsoid is a surface with vertical and horizontal traces being ellipses. So these are curves of intersection. Let's uh, simplify this right here. So here's an, an ellipse right here. So the traces, there's the uh, vertical traces right here. They're the, they're, they are the curves of intersection with planes parallel to the coordinate uh, plane. So this one is gonna be, uh, this plane right here is parallel to the Z one right here. So this, this is gonna be parallel to the Z this one and then so on. and then uh, likewise you also have a vertical i mean the horizontal one so horizontal right here is parallel to the uh the y one like this and also the x one i believe yeah and then you also have uh, you could all, all below it right here so all the traces wherever you you slice it off any plane you uh cut through that's parallel to the z x or y you're going to get a uh, you're going to get a, a ellipse. So that's called, that's why this shape is called an ellipsoid. Here's a formula for it. And you obtain it by uh, setting, uh, you, you setting the x, y, or z coordinate to a constant k, and then solve for that uh, 2D trace. So for example, uh, so if, if this is a formula right here. So if I set z equals to k, and uh, here I just uh, quickly updated this. I had the uh, the z one here twice. So uh, what what we'll do is basically in this case the first one is uh, we set uh, this one here set z equals to k so set z equals to k here and then move it over to the other side because you're just going to get a constant you're going to get a one minus k squared over four and then you're going to get the equation of an uh, ellipse right here uh, as long as this one here is uh, one, uh, yeah this k squared is less than uh, four. Yeah, so that the right side is going to be positive, and uh, this will fit in ellipse right there. Yeah, because uh, this one here is going to be positive, so you can't have a negative here. So you're going to not have a solution for k that's uh, for k is going to be uh, greater than negative two. Uh, I mean, it's going to be less than negative two or greater than two. The absolute value of it uh, greater than two. And uh, yeah, so this ellipse right here, you could tell it because it's uh, x squared uh, plus y squared divided by nine. Where this this one right here is not the same as this one here. The the the, the divisor on this or the denominator of x squared is one. Uh, if it's equal to nine, and yeah, if it's equal to this one, then you're gonna have a circle. And if this is equal to one, or in other words, k is equal to zero. So here's just a recall equations of parabolas, ellipses, and hyperbolas. So a circle would have uh, something like like this: x squared plus y squared equals uh, a squared, or you divide by a squared so that this equals to one, and you're dividing both of these by a squared. An ellipse is just uh, where the divisor right here, a squared, is not equal to b squared. So you can have, it looks like that, and this equals to 1. And then, and then the parabola, uh, here's the parabola like that, and there is the hyperbola equation there. And so you could uh, use these basic uh, traces and so on, just, uh, those formulas to determine what kind of traces these are. So this was a horizontal one, that's z equals to k. So you go z equals to k, for example, let's say z equals to 1. Equals one, so then you would draw a plane across at this point, and then you're going to have an a, a horizontal ellipse uh, at this around that point there. So horizontal around z equals one, and then these are the vertical ones. So if you have x equals to k, uh, so set x equals to to k, and then um, and then so you set it equal, and then solve for it. So if it's, if x equals to k right here. Then you would move this over to this side, so you're gonna have one minus k squared, and you're gonna have this. This is also an ellipse. Y squared over uh, nine squared plus z squared equals uh, four. And again, this can't be uh, this right side can't be zero, so then k is gonna be between negative one and one. So you can't have one divided by subtracted by a bigger number. And uh, yeah, what we get is in this case it's gonna be a vertical ellipse basically because we're setting x equals two. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna go uh, x equals to a number. Let's say we have x equals to 0.5. So we're gonna have to draw a, uh, a plane like this. It's gonna be all of all of these are gonna have, uh, where uh, this is at x equals to let's say 0.5. You're gonna get a vertical ellipse. So where or, I mean a vertical plane that cuts through this all, and then uh, all of these points are gonna be an ellipse. It's gonna be shaped like this.
Yeah, so that's going to be, you think of it like, like that. So you're, you're cutting it through at the x equals a 0.5 plane, where any point on this, at the y and z are going to be different, but the x is going to be equals to 0.5. And it's going to be a vertical uh, trace, like a vertical ellipse. And similarly, when we set y equals to k, so y equals to k, move this over, you're going to get uh, right here, you're going to get x squared plus z squared equals, uh, divided by 4 equals 1 minus a k squared over 9. And then where uh, this k has got to be uh, less than uh, 3 and uh, greater than negative 3. Like that, so that this is uh, this is going to be greater than 0. Uh, greater, Yeah, this is going to be greater than 0. And this is also going to be greater than 0, like that. Yeah, so that you get an ellipse and so on. And uh, just a note, if it was equal to 0, um, yeah, uh, yeah, if this whole thing equals to 1, so if you set them equal to 3, this would be 0. Uh, but then you're going to get a zero. This uh, this is, has to be a zero and a zero, but zero is not on there. It's going to be in the center there. And and you can't actually have that. If you plug in zero into all of these, you're going to get a, uh, yeah, you're going to get, you're going to get, actually, yeah, yeah actually it will work. It'll just be a trivial one. So if this was zero, this is zero. This would be three. So you're going to get a one equals to one like that. Yeah, so at, at um, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, that would still work. So you can have it uh, still there, but it won't be an ellipse though. You're just going to get it at this point here. So y is 3. Yeah, you're going to have 0, 3, 0. So yes, that is, uh, would be the point there on it. Uh, or, or plus or minus. So you can also have a negative 3 as well. So yes, that works. But it won't be an ellipse. You know, so hence, uh, between these, you're going to get the ellipse. And beyond that, you won't have a solution. All right. So And then uh, again, that's at y equals. So for example, if you have y equals to 2, for example. And yeah, that's y equals 2. It already has a tr trace for us. Uh, you can have a vertical uh, plane like that, and then this is cut there, and this is at y equals to uh, two. Well, uh, yeah, y equals two plane. You get a vertical uh, trace like that. So just epic, epic stuff there.